Hi, today I am going to talk about how to reverse fatigue when you have thyroid conditions, specifically hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's. My name is Dr. Lori Cayley. I am a functional medicine practitioner. I help women who have thyroid conditions to reverse their thyroid conditions naturally so that they can experience optimal health and get their lives back. I hear from women very commonly that they were diagnosed with hypothyroidism based on their TSH levels and they're still not feeling better even after taking the medication. So they're still having a common symptom like fatigue. Other things can be weight gain, cold hands and feet, losing their hair, carpal tunnel syndrome, anxiety, depression, brain fog, all of those things. Today, I specifically wanna give some tips about how to overcome fatigue. You want to make sure that you get a full thyroid panel. Make sure that your doctor does that for you. If they won't do that, then I suggest finding a doctor that will, because it is really important to assess your thyroid antibodies so that you know if you're dealing with an autoimmune condition and if you have Hashimoto's. You also want to be able to look at the thyroid hormone levels as well. So specifically, what I'm gonna talk about today is the free T3 levels and reverse T3. T3 will give you energy, it will boost your metabolism, it will make your hair grow. So it's really important that you have enough T3. A problem could be converting T4 to T3, but you have to have enough T3 so that it can get into the cell and do what it needs inside of the cell to boost your metabolism, give you energy, and do all of those other things that you need. Another thing to look at is reverse T3 levels. Reverse T3 will bind to the receptor sites of cells and not let T3 bind, which is a problem because Again, you need that T3 to be able to bind to the receptor sites and be able to get into the cells to do what it needs to do. So that's another marker that is really important to look at. Something else to consider is that you could have anemia. There are many different types of anemia and it's important to be able to work with a doctor that understands all of the different types of anemia, knows how to look at blood work and assess blood work. I have worked with many women who have thyroid conditions and the problem that we need to actually start with is addressing the anemia because nothing can get better until the anemia is addressed. There are hundreds of different kinds of anemia and the way that we look at blood work can, is different than the way that the traditional medical practitioners look at blood work. So we look at optimal values as well as looking at the normal values from the lab. We can detect patterns that often go undetected just looking at it from normal values from the lab. Other suggestions that I have for you are to balance your blood sugar. It's really important to have your blood sugar balanced. If not, say for instance, you eat a high carb meal and you don't have good blood sugar balance. The blood sugar will go up too high, too fast, come down too fast, and then you're going to have blood sugar imbalance issues. So, and symptoms from that. And one of them is fatigue. So some tips for balancing blood sugar is to eat within an hour of waking up to eat protein and a high quality fat with breakfast. Eat every two to three hours. Don't eat sugary foods. Stay away from fruit juices. Don't eat sugary foods, especially before bed. And another Thing that you want to take into consideration is your adrenal glands. Your adrenal glands produce a stress hormone called cortisol and cortisol should be highest in the morning so that it gives you that get up and go feeling. You have a lot of energy in the morning to jump out of bed. That's how you should feel. 
cortisol will then taper off. So then at night when you're ready to go to bed, it's low so that you can actually sleep. And I find with a lot of women that I work with, they have adrenal problems. And it's important to address them. And the ways that you can do that are through adaptogenic herbs. There are some adaptogenic herbs that give you energy. Other ones will calm you down. So it's important to work with a practitioner who understands adaptogenic herbs and what each individual adaptogenic herb will do for you. And you can also, it's important to take vitamin C and B vitamins because those will help you to balance your adrenal glands. And you also want to make sure that you are not ingesting caffeine because drinking too much coffee is just going to stress your adrenal glands and it's just going to cause you more issues with fatigue as time goes on. And then besides taking B vitamins and C vitamins, you can also include thymine Make sure to include thymine, I mean, when you're taking the B vitamins, and that's I, that's B1, and that's necessary for the production of ATP, and ATP gives you energy, gives energy to the cells. So follow those tips that I have just given you, and that can help a lot with fatigue issues. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments of this video or you can always private message me. And also, please like and share this video. Thank you so much for watching.